With garage sale season in full swing, bargain hunters are once again on the lookout for hidden deals. But if health and safety devices are on your must-have list, you may want to think twice before buying. Local home medical equipment expert Jesse Newman from Corner Home Medical is here to tell us why the, uh, there are potential health risks outweigh the rewards. Welcome. It's good to have you here. Thanks for having me. What would be health risk of buying something used? Well, depending on how well a piece of equipment is maintained or cared for, sanitized, um, you could potentially pick up infections, bed bugs, or even cockroaches. And when it comes to the safety and health of your family, you can never be too careful. You brought in some things uh, that are very commonly bought in some of these sales. Let's begin first with the CPAP machine, which helps people breathe. Correct. Uh, CPAPs and uh, BiPAPs can be very appealing to buy used at a uh, garage sale They're or costly. online. Yeah, they can range anywhere from 600 to $2,000. Um, technically, you're supposed to have a prescription to purchase or sell one of these devices. Um, however, recently the University of Minnesota just uh, um, released a study and discovered that while used CPAPs and BiPAPs are less expensive, they're also less effective because people aren't trained how to properly use them and they're not set for that individual. At uh, Corner Home Medical, we have respiratory therapists and clinicians on staff. Uh, educate our customers and make sure that the device is set appropriately to meet their needs. Trained obviously for things that obviously keep you breathing Correct. Uh, during the nighttime hours. Some other things here, braces which are very commonly used, these are some knee braces I see in arm or wrist. That's why, correct. Why are those not good used? Well, uh, once again, um, you know, depending on how well it's been cared for, can. Uh, can have different effects on on your body so if it's uh, not fitted appropriately um, you can run the risk of doing actually more harm than good and re-injuring that body part so the elasticity obviously the different tensions those things are uh, those are targeted toward things clearly correct you know right. the, the strength wears out and uh, they just become not useful all right uh, braces we talk uh, op open system breast pumps Yes, so breast pumps can, uh, buying a used breast pump can save a mom or family's money. However, um, you want to make sure you identify if it's an open or closed What's system. What's open mean? So an open system, the device doesn't have a barrier to prevent the milk from entering the device itself. And once it's in there, it's almost impossible to clean or sanitize, opening up the mom for infection. Um, a closed system will have a barrier in place to prevent that milk from going into the system, so potentially you could just replace the tubing and accessories and keep things safe and sanitary. And last but not least, I see at the end, car seats. Those are very popular to pick up used. Not such a good idea. No, sir. Um, you know, as most parents know, including myself, car seats can be very expensive. Sure. Um, even if you find a really uh, nice one at a garage sale, you still don't know the history of it. So it could have potentially been in an accident, which would compromise the integrity of the, the car seat. Um, it might be missing pieces, which would make it almost impossible to install appropriately. Um, and uh, remember, car seats have an expiration date. Usually it's around six years, and that's to ensure that parents are using seats that are up to date in the current safety standards. And it's your most precious cargo. So. You got it expensive. It's worth every cent of that. Thank you. This is very instructive today. A lot of good information here. Appreciate it. We have more information for you posted online at care11.com. Look under the local tab and the news at 4.